Hello health champions, today we're going to talk about the number one absolute tastiest way to use apple cider vinegar. Hey, I'm Dr. Ekberg, I'm a holistic doctor and a former Olympic decathlete. And if you want to truly master health by understanding how the body really works, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So a lot of people want the benefits, but they can't stand the taste. So now what do you do? Well, the answer is you find a way to make it taste good. What are the, some of the benefits? Well, it is high in acetic acid. So acidity helps your digestion. It has antibacterial properties, okay? It, it kills off a lot of pathogens, a lot of unfriendly bacteria in your body. And that's also why it's a great preservative. A lot of pickle, pickling processes to preserve food is because of that acidity is a preservative. It does promote insulin sensitivity. It has been reported to help with weight loss and we've explained that in detail in some videos you could take a look at and this is maybe why it has gotten such a wide appeal that there's a lot of interest in apple cider vinegar so insulin sensitivity weight loss and then there's thousands of anecdotal benefits and I did a video on this and there were hundreds of people who were just reporting all kinds of different things and they, they swear by it for digestion and blood pressure and complexion and mood and sleep and you, you name it. So we don't know the exact mechanisms for a lot of that stuff because it hasn't been widely researched. But we do know that people get some great benefits from it. How do you make it taste good actually? Not just acceptable or tolerable but how can you use it on a regular basis to where you actually look forward to it so what I did is I created a hot sauce and we're gonna share the recipe and show you how to do it just a little bit here and then you can use that hot sauce for things like buffalo wings who doesn't like buffalo wings and for you foreigners uh, that means chicken wings. It's when I first came to the US. I thought oh, that's so stupid Buffaloes don't have wings, but it is a spicy kind of wing you fry it or grill it and you Dip it in a hot sauce and then it's called buffalo wings I made my own hot sauce and the reason I developed that was that I didn't want any preservatives in it I wanted to know what went in it I also wanted to use a quality salt because there's an enormous amount of salt in hot sauce. So you want to make sure there's nothing wrong with eating salt, but you want to make sure that you eat a good quality salt when you eat it. You don't want to just load up on teaspoon of teaspoon of something that you don't really want. So I use a pink salt or a sea salt for this and then the biggest reason for developing this hot sauce is that you can do it with apple cider vinegar and then whatever you use that hot sauce for you're just constantly eating consuming apple cider vinegar with all these benefits so the thing you want to make sure of with the apple cider vinegar is that it's organic you always want high quality and these things are very inexpensive I found a three pack of three liters of apple cider vinegar at Costco for like seven dollars something and you want to make sure that it's unfiltered meaning that it has that sludge at the bottom because those are some amino acids and there's some bacteria and there's some enzymes in there and a lot of the benefits or at least some of the benefits they believe to be from that therefore because it has enzymes and bacteria you want it to be unpasteurized because the pasteurization the heating would kill off any enzymes or bacteria and these bacteria by the way are called acetobacter there's many different strains and uh, but they are also believed to have some of the benefits uh, provide some of the benefits of apple cider vinegar but they're also heat sensitive okay they love acid so they'll kill off some other bacteria that don't love acid but they don't take to heat very well so 
they, if you keep them under sustained heat, they will die after 10 minutes at 130 degrees Fahrenheit or about 55 degrees Celsius. The good news is that they don't die right away. They're pretty sturdy. So if you have food that's a little bit warmer than this, but that cools down as you eat it, then you're still going to keep your bacteria alive. But the point is, you don't want to boil it with the vinegar. You don't want to cook it with the vinegar. You don't put the, the hot sauce on the wings first. You put it on after. And then, of course, you can use this hot sauce for anything you could use hot sauce for. I love it on uh, omelets, for example. I use it sometimes in, in an avocado and, and we we'll, might give you some more examples in a later video. But I promise there is no sacrifice in consuming them this way. I eat this a couple of times a week probably on average and I really look forward to it. So let's show you how it's done. All right, so let's just show you how to make this hot sauce real quick. And it's all quality ingredients. It's, you know exactly what goes in there. It's your pink salt, your organic vinegar, your hot sauce and a little bit of uh, xanthan gum for thickener so it's not too runny. One pint or close to half a liter of vinegar. We'll take one tablespoon of salt. We'll take a quarter cup of hot sauce. And we'll take three-quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. Put the lid on and then we just need to run this for a few seconds. All right, so now we're ready for the chicken and we're gonna show you two different ways to make the chicken. One in an air fryer and one in a glass dish. So first I like to put a little bit of coconut oil on it because that helps it fry up a little crispier. And I also like to put just a little bit of seasoning. You could put just salt and pepper, or you can put if you have a favorite spice mix. And then we'll just kind of toss that up a little bit. Very good, then we'll just put half of this in the air fryer and half in the glass dish. So now it's ready for the fryer and the oven. So we'll just pop this into the air fryer and it's 390 degrees for 25 minutes. And we'll just hit start and it does its thing. And the glass dish goes in the oven at 450 degrees for about 45 minutes. Now the air fryer wings are done. So we're just gonna pop that out and put the wings in a little bucket, in a little bowl. We'll put some of the hot sauce on there. I usually don't measure, we'll just do a couple of three, four tablespoons. We'll toss them up and they're ready to go. And now the oven dish is also ready. So we're going to put those in the bowl. Put some sauce on. And that's how simple it is. So give it a try and let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you find some other great ways to use that hot sauce. If you enjoyed this video, then I'm pretty sure you're going to like that one also. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.